tradition of drumming is has a universal impact because we all respond to our heartbeats. It's that way of connecting to something more visceral, deeper, ancestral, regardless of what your background is. But it's tapping into that way of empowering and healing and building collective energy. Uh, you're going to see us do some taiko drumming that uh, our instructors have been working with us the last couple of weeks. We got introduced to it through critical ethnic studies. We're creating music together and I, find, I think that's really cool. It also just lets like me express like my emotions, just like hit something and also just like be a part of a group. I think another aspect of critical ethnic studies is um, kind of trying to reach a deeper understanding of like yourself even. So I think the drumming kind of helps, you know, maybe reach a, a, a musical part of you that you didn't know, you know, you could embrace before. In drumming with students, it has really allowed me to see them open up a little bit more, become more playful, coming in a little bit more shy and really quiet, and then giving them permission to be fearless. It was neat seeing students go outside of their comfort zone, um, and everybody participated. Students were willing to take on extra practices to perform with us, and I see their commitment and how excited they are. It's really inspiring. The really great part about this is that it gives students that aren't necessarily part of a music program, a chance to experience music, uh, to experience different um, music from around the world, and, they've, and we were able to bring in some really great mentors for them to learn from. The beauty of it is it's a completely different educational experience than what we do. It's not behind a book, um, it's not at a desk, it's experiential, um, and I think there's something amazingly powerful about that, and more in-depth than your understanding you can get from that.